video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my best cartilage aftercare tips. I know the cartilage can be a pain. It takes a while to take care of. I know from having both of my cartilages pierced and also piercing many cartilages in my day. We're gonna be going over how to take care of your cartilage, what to use to clean it, and also sleeping with your cartilage, because that is important as well. By the way, if you are new, welcome to the piercing outlet. My name is Christina. Let's just get right into the video. So let's just go over the healing time when it comes to your cartilage. So the initial healing period for a cartilage is about 8 to 12 weeks. You want to keep your cartilage in at all times during that healing time. I always say the longer you keep your cartilage in, the better. Although that is an initial healing period, after that point you can change it, but that doesn't mean that it's completely healed. It can actually take up to 12 months before your cartilage is completely healed. In my case, mine took about 9 months to heal. It was it took a really long time. Swelling is pretty common when it comes to your cartilage, so if you haven't got pierced yet, then I would recommend making sure that your piercer is piercing you with a longer post. Also, the larger the gauge that you get pierced with, it's gonna take a little bit longer to peel because it's a bigger hole. So next, let's go over how to sleep with your cartilage. So you actually wanna try to avoid sleeping on your cartilage, so when you get pierced, I would recommend getting pierced on the opposite side that you sleep on, but if you're like me and you get both sides pierced because you like to be symmetrical, then I would recommend getting an airplane pillow. So you're gonna have to kinda sleep on an incline, um, so that way you're not tempted to roll over. The airplane pillow will kinda help avoid that, but an airplane pillow is a really good trick when it comes to your cartilage, so that way you're not putting any pressure on it. Now, not only do you wanna avoid sleeping on it, but you also wanna make sure that you're always sleeping on a clean surface, so making sure that you always have a clean pillowcase or you can try the t-shirt trick. With the t-shirt trick, you're always sleeping on a clean surface for at least four days with one t-shirt. I'm gonna be doing a really quick video on this, so be sure to subscribe. It's actually gonna be my next video that I upload. So next, let's talk about cleaning your piercing. For the initial healing period, you actually wanna clean it twice a day, and what you wanna use to clean it is only sterile saline solution. This is all that you need. You can either find it on Amazon, I'll leave a link below, um, um, or you can find it in the first aid aisle of a drugstore. Sterile saline wound wash, something of that sort. <laughs> something that I personally like is actually H2 Ocean. It usually comes in a blue bottle. Again, you can find it on Amazon. H2 Ocean is just purified salt water. Both of these are really good because they come in a can form and you can just spray it on your piercing. Um, something else that you could do with the sterile wound wash is actually spray it on a piece of gauze and just kind of let it sit there. Um, for like a soak. Things that you wanna stay away from are alcohol peroxide, any ointments, and also tea tree oil. I don't care what nobody says, stay away from tea tree oil on your cartilage, even if you have a bump. And that's gonna bring me into my next tip. Do not touch your piercings. I know it can be tempting. Turning your piercing is just gonna irritate it, which can then cause a piercing bump or an irritation bump, as some people like to call it. Also, if you do have to touch your piercing, like when you're cleaning it, then definitely make sure that you are cleaning your hands with antibacterial soap. Also, don't take your jewelry out to clean it. I don't know why people think that it's such a good idea, like, oh, let me take out my piercing and let me clean it. Even, especially during the initial healing phase, do not take it out to clean it. You don't need to. Now, I briefly mentioned the whole irritation bump thing. They are very common. If you guys are interested, I did do a video on it, so I'm gonna leave it right here. I was gonna point over here, but I'm gonna leave it right here. So check out this video. Like I said, my next video, I'm gonna be doing the t-shirt trick, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in my next video.